Whenever I receive a package with one of these labels, I have to laugh because this came from uh, uh, USPS and they've been doing a better job. Uh, honestly, this was shipped uh, from California uh, on Monday. Today's Thursday. I'm in Central Mass and package arrived on my uh, front porch this morning, which is nice. This is not going to be an unboxing video. Um, next time you uh, see this, the uh, box will be open and I'll show you uh, what's in it. So what we have here is a new old stock RCA tube and it is a 6 SB7Y and I did a lot of reading uh, online and in the antique uh, radios forum and this tube and swapping it out for one of the stock tubes is uh, supposed to provide better high frequency performance uh, as well as uh, much better uh, overall radio stability and what we're going to put this in is my Halicrafters S40. So we'll uh, pop the hood. I'll show you where it's going to go. Okay, so that tube is going to go in place of 6SA7. And what it is is a uh, mixer oscillator tube. Now, some people also claim it has better performance on the lower bands as well. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but the 6SB7Y uh, was used in a lot of FM radios and is a direct replacement uh, for the 6SA7. And like I had mentioned earlier, uh, claims better uh, performance on the higher bands and also better stability. So I'm just going to swap this tube out, plug it in. We'll see what we get. And it works perfectly. Uh, I'm going on the broadcast band right now. So late morning. Sounds great. But where I really want to go are those upper bands. I mean, not that there's much action up there right now, but maybe we'll see if we can get some uh maybe some cb radio operators or uh i guess 10 meter operators we'll see if we can uh, pull anything out the radio was almost completely deaf on band four i i wouldn't say deaf it just was sensitivity was poor. Now, there's not a lot up there given propagation conditions and um, there's not a lot of action, but we're getting signals. This is up around the CB band, people horsing around. Um, We'll pull it down a little bit, maybe go to 20 meters and check it for uh, sensitivity and maybe stability as well. So we're getting some signals up there. Uh, I wasn't able to tune in any ham in, but we've got an international broadcast uh, above uh, 14 megahertz. We'll stay with it for a little bit and maybe see how stable it is. Um, it's a good radio. It's never been known as a great radio, but from what I've read and what I've heard, one of the design flaws associated with it is stability. And uh, supposedly that's what our new tube uh, will give us in addition to uh, improved higher frequency uh, sensitivity. So let's see how we do. 
There's no question this has been a success. I've been with this uh, station for a while now, and I haven't even had to touch our band spread tuning. And poking our, just touching this vacuum tube. Whoop. There we go. It's warm, it's not hot. I, I think I have a bad uh, socket in here, but um, I found by pulling it up a little bit, it uh, seems to make better contact than if I push it down into the socket. But our tube is uh, warm, it's not hot, and I'd say uh, we're going to give this a whirl. I, You know, for $9 with very minimal... I wouldn't even call this a modification, it's it's a substitution, but how can you go wrong for nine bucks? Um, I'm going to stay with this and I, I would call this a uh, success so far. I'll let you know how we do. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope it's helpful for your uh, S40 and uh, take care for now. Not that I'm going to listen to uh, Citizens Band Radio, but just wanted to show you um, it is picking it up, uh, and I don't think I ever. Uh, I, I might have received some like miscellaneous signals on band four, but um, I, I'd say it's very sensitive now. Um, ju just wanted to show you that it is indeed working on all bands and working quite well, um, not only for sensitivity, but uh, stability as well. So just a little addendum to this video and really happy. Um, I think it was well worth the $9 for that tube.